And the winner of the giveaway is... It's blank. I'm not gonna tell you in this video. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Friday and that means my first ever channel giveaway is officially closed. Thank you guys so much for entering it and giving me awesome questions and dares. Some of them are really weird. Thank you. Honestly though, you guys are really, really awesome. All the support has been incredible and I love that you guys are so enthusiastic about these prizes. Maybe when I hit a thousand subscribers I can do another giveaway, I would love to. This is so much fun. But unfortunately for now, I can't give something to every single one of you. That's why for this video, I thought I can tell you where you can go out and buy your own Doctor Who or Harry Potter or whatever fandom merch. So I'm gonna tell you where I get all my cool stuff like this awesome Gryffindor hoodie and this TARDIS hat. Let's start with t-shirts. One of the most common thing that every fan has a huge collection of or would like to have a huge collection of is t-shirts. I have loads. I have Harry Potter t-shirts, I have Doctor Who t-shirts, I even have a Power Ranger t-shirt. And those are pretty easy to get. I actually get most of my t-shirts from two particular places. The first one is Hot Topic, where you can actually go into the store or order online. I've done both. Or there's an online store called Think Geek, which is probably the coolest website ever. <laughs> They're your official, typical designs, basically. In addition to those two places, you can also get fandom t-shirts from like Target or department stores like JCPenney's. Those are a couple other options. As cool as those shirts are, I tend to like the ones that are designed by fans that are usually like mashups or some really cool creative design that you would never think of and you see it and you're like, oh my god, yes. So if you want one of those t-shirts, you can check out sites like T-Fury. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am a huge fan of socks. I have an abundance of socks. <laughs> they are great because let's face it, you have to wear socks every day. And why not have something a little whimsical, you know, on your feet? Make you feel a little happy. Put a little a little spring in your step. I got all of these socks from Hot Topic. Now you can't complete your fandom look without a couple accessories like a hat or a belt. Once again I got these guys from places like Hot Topic and Think Geek. Not only do these sites have like t-shirts and hats and stuff like that but they also have onesies. I got this TARDIS onesie in the most comfortable pajamas I have ever worn in my entire life from Think Geek. You can also go straight to the site like BBC Shop or the Universal Studios Shop which is where I got my Gryffindor hoodie. As a Whovian you gotta have a sonic screwdriver. I got this bag Bad boy from Hot Topic, but you can also get this at bookstores like Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, or even your local comic book stores. They also sell really cool toys and action figures. But appreciation of your fandom doesn't have to stop at clothing and toys. You can bring it into your kitchen or really any other room of your house by getting blankets or even kitchenware, like mugs. I got these guys at Think Geek and a couple blankets from Hot Topic, including a TARDIS one and the Hogwarts Crest. Another huge thing that people love buying are posters. I am definitely one of those people. As you can tell by my entire wall covered in posters. You can buy these guys at places like Walmart now or even I went to like a dollar store and they had Doctor Who poster which is crazy, they're everywhere. And you can get lights like these TARDIS lights at Hot Topic or Think Geek as well. As much as I love buying merchandise from these places, I prefer buying stuff from vendors at events like Comic-Con or on Etsy because these are Whovians that make the coolest products. Like this little David Tennant doll I got at the Science Center. And they also make incredible posters from fan art. If you're feeling super creative, you can even go make your own Doctor Who merchandise. I made this the other day. It's a skull that I made to look like the TARDIS. I hope this video was helpful and now you guys know where to go if you want to buy merchandise for your fandom. I'll be uploading a video tomorrow where I choose the winners of the giveaway. Bye. That's why I thought I'd make this video. I am moving my arms around so much. It's like they have a life of their own. <laughs> I drank too much coffee today, guys. Let's start with t-shirts. Oh, that <laughs> works so well. 